The natural world is full of killer creatures, perfect pets for any video game villain, like rats, bats, and cats. But those of a more scientific mind can add enhancements that can make any animal into a deadly weapon, like robot rats, robot bats, and robot cats. It's man versus machine, science versus nature, B versus B. From the Donkey Kong Country series, The Zinger. When King K. Rool and his Kremlin army invaded the Congo jungle, they brought along a stinging swarm of giant wasps. Hailing from the vast hives in Crocodile Isle, they worked together as a hive mind to achieve one goal. To be really, really annoying. So we had a theme park built on the island, Kremlin. Something for the lads, because, you know, keeping up morale is crucial to any conqueror. But on opening day, the Zingers, well, they just decided to move in, right by the entrance so we can't go in. So that was kind of annoying, but ever since, we've kind of had a symbiotic relationship. You know, we give them everything they want, and in return, they don't kill us. It's, uh, well, it's a fair trade. And from the Sonic series, the Buzz Bomber. Zooming in from the hills of green are the many inventions of Dr. Robotnik, known as the Badniks. Mass-produced and designed to slow down the blue blur himself, but few have lasted the test of time longer than the Buzz Bomber. A robotic wasp, but instead of a stinger, it has a cannon for sniping even the most evasive of prey. Has technology gone too far? Too far? I say it hasn't gone too far enough. Robot Wasps is just phase one in my master plan. The next step is Robot Robot Wasps, and then Robot Robot Wasp Wasps, and then Robotic Robot Robot Wasp Wasps, and then... A spot of lunch. Then more Robot Wasps! <laughs> the Zinger and Buzz Bomber look very similar, so they'll rely on their differences to sting their opponent. Let's look at the biology of a Zinger. Let's not. Note, the stingers across their entire abdomen in one touch can cause rash, infection, and instantaneous death, which doesn't make the first two seem so bad. Now, let's look at the buzz bombers. Nothing, all hollow metal except for an organic battery made out of a small trapped innocent creature. Oh, such a sad sight. You could easily fit more animals in there! The Zinger's tactics is all to do with formations. The yellows can move freely, the pinks go around in loops, and the reds are less mobile but way more robust. The only thing killing them are explosions, which uh, tend to kill most things anyway. The beaten is much smaller, so it's much more nimble than, say, the Super Buzz Bomber, which is super tough, needing special abilities to be taken out, but as a result, it is much slower, and the buzzer may seem like it's just a blue Buzz Bomber with a different coat of paint. And you'd be absolutely right! Have you seen this array of weapons? The Poby has a swinging mace, the Green Zinger has a buzzsaw, and the Mecha Zinger is just a helicopter that drops bombs! A technological wonder. As in, I wonder why anyone would even make this. Hey, that last one is a robot! That's cheating! Well, yeah. Okay, good. Just checking. We take you over live to a pre-recording of the greatest battle fall in the skies between two oversized bees ever! Three, two, one, go! Well, yeah! Ha ha ha! Excellent work! Buzz Bomber wins! 
the buzz bombers did well to react to the situation. They didn't flinch, they didn't waver, and uh, they didn't lose, which um, I believe is the best way to win. Those animal buddies turned out to be a surprise secret weapon for the badniks. Technology using nature to fight nature. What is this, Black Mirror? I don't take pleasure in losing, but, you know, fewer zingers means fewer zingers. Am I right? <laughs> they're, they're right behind me, aren't they? <laughs> See? Cheetahs never prosper! Hmm. Maybe that's why I always lose. The Buzz Bombers have flown the Sonic Badniks into the next round. But the sinister squids of Lake Hylia take on the angry amphibians from the coasts of Azeroth. Next time on Run Battle!